Hey there berries, welcome to something a little bit different. I have been supplied a CD key by Square Enix for Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition. They asked me if I wanted to stream or make some YouTube content based on this game and I said yeah. Uh, the primary reason is I actually played a little bit of this as a child, yes I was a child, um, on the GameCube I believe it was for. Um, I don't remember much or anything really about this game, which is why I'm trying to wanted to give it a go just to try and like rejog my memory of what I kind of used to play. I mean, I, remember, I do specifically remember having this for the GameCube. Um, I think it was one of those rare Final Fantasy games that came out onto the Nintendo series. Um, so yeah, we we're gonna jump in and give it a go. Um, I haven't really done a gameplay video. I think the only last proper gameplay video I actually did was another Square Enix game actually um, for Final Fantasy the 7 Remake uh, which I did a whole play series playthrough on my secondary account but let's give this one a go. Um, I'm excited to be able to have like early access in this and um, hopefully uh, you guys enjoy the series as well. So this is the first time you're loading up the game. I'm assuming there might be a cinematic popping up here in a second. So I understand they've um, new textures and everything, HD, proper remaster edition as most other companies do when they remaster games, try and bring them up to date to current gen standards. So yeah, what's happening? It's got to be a cinematic, usually there is, isn't there? Ooh. Add-on content, I don't think I have any add-on content. Yeah, I read all of that. Oh, you actually have to read it? Oh yeah, yeah, I, I read all of this. Yes, I did. Oh, so fast. There's a little koopo, koopo. Little Moogle in a. I'm not sure what it's in. Some sort of basket? Or like a beanie? Cinematic time. So I understand this game has a lot of dungeons and things as well. Dreaming of the stars on high. That speak to me in secret sighs Drifting on a breeze Only I can feel and
So the game definitely looks much more like a remastered edition. Um, definitely doesn't look like, you know, old school GameCube kind of standard of games with lots of polygons there and things like that. Definitely looks a little bit sharper. Um, obviously not, you know, triple A current gen standards though, but I think it does look quite nice. Definitely has that kind of old school feeling to it still a little bit as well. Let me just get my name in it, of course. So it seems like we are going to be like a main hero. It does seem like from I, what I got that only seven characters. Bizzle, buh. Hmm. I think Bizzle will just have to do. So it does seem like you are a, band, a group of adventurers traveling around in a caravan, killing monsters. Not exactly sure what for though. There seemed to be a crystal in that town. Maybe it's got something to do with that. Let's know the name of my hometown. We'll just leave that as the pop default. Tipa. That's fine. Tipa is, is our village. Would have put berry bush, but I'm sure it would have been too many characters. I guess bush. <laughs> bush would have been fine, I guess. The morning of my departure was here at last. I tried to brace myself for the journey ahead. There was a field along the main road where I decided to camp until sunrise. Tomorrow I set out in search of mirror. That's going to be a fun word to guess and how that's meant to be said. Mirror. 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 We need mirror. Let's go out adventuring. You have to collect drops of mirror from lands far and wide to keep your crystal growing. Alright, my only option here seems to be set out. You need a strong party to help you run your caravan on your adventure. Choose up to eight members from the four tribes. Gosh. Clavat, the tribe of warmth. The Clavats seek unity and friendship above all else. They are down to earth, peaceful, and see all others as friends, no matter their background. Well, if they're friendly and want to be friends with people, that like we're going to be trying to defeat enemies, aren't we? Do we really want some goody two shoes on our team? Lil, li li this is going to do my dyslexia in a lot, isn't it? Lilty, Litty, Lilty, Lil, Lil, Lil. We just call them Lil, Litty, Lit. The Littis. The proud warrior tribe steeped in tradition, the Littis once ruled the continent. Though hot headed, their frank nature makes them admiral merchants. Okay. Yuke. Soft spoken tribe of wisdom and research. The Yukes once used magic to resist the might of the Littis. Whether they were fighting against each other? Their otherworldly physical forms are said to be simply souls that augment their magical abilities. Okay. The Selkie, a tribe of individualists. The Selkies clothe themselves in furs and stolen goods. Their almost primal agility has led many Selkies to take up a life of brigandry and thievery. Hmm. So they're the badass people. All right, we're gonna fill up this party up with eight, it seems. So we're gonna design eight characters. Wow, eight. Gosh, I mean, I guess the standard thing would be to have like two of each, but let's make a, I want to start off with the badass people. Um, so you got some customization here, all the preset stuff, pirate here maybe. Raccoon tail, a wolfie. Let's get a wolfie. And oh, we've got different voices here as well. Ha! Ha! Fire! Ha! That's quite a grunt. Fire! Fire! Lizard! 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 She sounds super happy in that one. We'll stick with this one. 
And then we have to choose a job for this person as well. well they seem pretty feisty. We'll go with blacksmith. And give it a name as well. Oh, um, give it something, an angry name like Fury. I can imagine if you'd like character creation, you're gonna be here forever. I don't think you'd ever leave this screen, would you? So we've got a tribe cell key, voice number one, and a blacksmith. Good job. Now, do we have to do that seven more times? Yes, we do. Oh, is there permadeath? Oh, wait. I thought we had to meet eight characters. What about the others? Could have had like eight silky blacksmiths. That would have been an amazing party, right? Maybe this is meant to be my main character? Guess we've set in. Today you finally step out into the world in such a mood. You come safely back to Tipa. Alright. Should you find any materials for smithing, bring them back to us, we'll forge you a fine weapon. We'll miss you. <laughs> Make any friends out there, be sure to bring them round. Be sure to eat well. Gosh. Okay, mum and dad and weird little brother thing. Fury, the blacksmith's daughter, is sent off by her family. Zagat, her mother, Rassi, her sister, Fuklu, and her brother, it was a brother, and her brother, Diti. So why did I have to create a character saying Bizzle at the start? A little confused about what that was about, at least anyway. in the beanie. What is that Koopa standing on? Try moving your caravan. Forward. Ooh, something happened. There's a fat Hail, Koopo. Fellow caravaner. Whoa, there's voice lines? You are the caravan from that village, are you not? Yeah. How come you talk and everyone else doesn't? I heard they were sending out a new caravan. You seem quite capable. Oh yes, my name's Fury. And I've got my assets all out and ready. My name is Soul Rock. I am captain of the caravan from the great fortress at Alphataria. Our caravan boasts a history that stretches back thousands of years. But let us discuss that some other time. Stiltskin, do you have a moment? Rumple. This is the village caravan. Come on, say hello. Ah, uh, Gumpo. Allow me to inside it by my chair. Stiltskin. He may not look it, but he is a seasoned adventurer. Even we turn to him for counsel from time to time. No, I'm just a Moogle that likes to get around. I don't think I've ever heard a Moogle talk normally. What? <laughs> I thought they just go kupo kupo. I learned all sorts of things in my travels before I knew it. I'm on my way somewhere right now, but I can teach you a thing or two if you like. Sure. Teach me. By the way, are you setting out all by yourself, Kapo? You've got a lot on your shoulders, Kapo. Let me carry the crystal chalice for you, Kapo. Yes, a capital proposal. Let Mog help you. Well, let's find a better spot. I saw I was expecting Rumpel to do first with all the Kapos. Alright, oh, what's going on here? Are we gonna fight the Rumble? So we can carry this and drop it. I have no idea what's going on. What's up? What do you want to know about? About the world. A world is covered in miasma. Sustained contact with miasma gradually drains your life away. 
Crystals protect us from the miasma. Towns big and small may each maintain a crystal to hold at bay. You see, crystals must be purified with myrrh once a year or they lose their brilliance. Crystal caravans like you journey to seek out that myrrh. Drops of myrrh are gathered in the crystal chalice. The chalice not only carries myrrh, it also protects the caravan from miasma. The goal of a journey is to find myrrh trees all over the world, and you guessed it, your path to the myrrh trees is blocked by hordes of monsters. You need to fill your chalice with myrrh before bringing it back to your village, but each tree yields only a tiny drop of myrrh at once. So you must find several myrrh trees in order to fill your chalice with myrrh. Once you draw myrrh from a tree, you can take as long as two years for it to replenish itself, so keep looking for other trees. You ready for the next step? Gosh. Great torrents called the Stream of Miasma cut through the world, dividing it into sections. Each Miasma stream possesses a certain element. To cross a stream and enter the lands beyond, you must change your crystal chalice's element to match that of the stream. There are four elements, fire, earth, water, and wind. If you're trying to cross a stream of fire, your chalice had better be your fire too. You can tell your chalice's current element by the color of its aura. So how do you change the chalice's element? Where well, you can place the chalice on platforms called hotspots. Doing so will change the element of your chalice to that of the hotspot. Once your chalice element matches that of the stream you want to cross, go ahead and rush through. Also, once you draw myrrh from a particular place, you can change your element by simply visiting that place again. Harry. Drop it on that. Okay, we've turned it to water. Where are we going with this bad boy? Oh. Carry it then. Carry it, Mog. Guess we better find out how. How to wield weapons. Select attack from the command list and press the X button. Uh, to attack with your weapon. You can unleash combo attacks if you press the X button repeatedly with the right timing. Oh, we'll get a practice mob. Basically just mash the button. Shouldn't be too difficult. Use focus attacks to defeat powerful enemies. Hold down the X button until you see a targeting ring appear. Move the ring with the left joystick and line up with the enemy. Release the X button to unleash your attacks. Oh, I shot it in the head. Boop. That seems a mess. He moved. There we go. We did it. That seemed to miss as well. That definitely missed. He bought the to buy the what? Stand still. This guy is trolling me. There we go. Do we win a prize now? Okay, that's enough. That's all. Right, what's the other things here then? What's up? How to cast spells. Have to have them in my command list. This determines what the X button does. So you can cycle through the actions with the L1 and R1 buttons. Press the square button to open the main menu, then open the command list menu. If you're already in a different sub menu, press the L1 and R1 buttons to cycle the one that you want. Okay. If you pick up a Maggie site while your command list has empty spots, its spell will automatically appear on the command list. Once you're done, press the square button again to close down the menu. I will say they're throwing out a crap ton of stuff right from the get-go. I hope I can remember all of this. Let's give it a shot. Alright. Casting spells is just similar to unleashing focus attacks. Just hold down the button and move the circle. Got it. Okay, so... 
Wait, this is a normal attack. That's not. Use magic. Got it. There. Oh, whoa. All right, Monk's helping. Maybe. He's on fire. Give me, I'm a professional. Very good. Is that are we done yet? You do spell fusion. When you fuse two different spells together on the command list together, they create an entirely new spell. Let's try putting fire and blizzard next to each other on the command list and selecting fuse. Wait, wait, it's gravity. Cast a new spell you like with any other. Select gravity with L1 and R1. Then hold down the X button. And then target. Yeah, same targeting. So how... So I see fire and blizzard at the top. There wasn't that drop down menu. Like they, unless I have to open square. Okay, so this is my menu. How do I fuse these together? Oh, that that worked. Not quite sure what I did, but it worked. Ooh. It looks like Cooper's trying to join in as well. So if I remember from Final Fantasy, gravity spells usually do percent max health damage. Or is it percent current health damage? Sorry. Yeah, percent current health damage. Try using that in battle. Alright, I will do. By the way, any mega site you find will disappear once you leave its native area. Also, you can sometimes find urns full of water or oil. Throw one to spread its contents all over the floor. Oil can be ignited with fire and water can be frozen with blizzard or electrified with thunder. Handle with care though, the urn traps you set can hurt you too. Okay. And I think we've just got to talk to them about one more thing. Mog. Mog will accompany you. He will carry the crystal shards for you while you're busy fighting monsters or carrying objects. To ask Mog to carry the shadows, drop it and then press the triangle button. Okay. So it's just the triangle button. Alright. Pick this up. Nice. Thank you. Over here. Wait, are we done? Okay, I think I think we're done now. I guess that was the mini tutorial. Then we got an achievement. Check your diary when back on the web map. I don't think we need to check our diary. We didn't really do anything of note. So we learned how to play the game. Also spell fusing and spell casting and base attack casting and gosh. Right, we can go left or right or back to the town. I'm assuming there's no point going back to the town. Press triangle to look at the world map. So we're at Tipa, which is here. And it seems to be doing with the water element. That looks like earth and then wind and then fire. Um, I guess we can go next to the right here and see what's this way. Water and the wind, river bell path. Yeah, sure, let's have a look. Take on dungeons. You may adventure into dungeons either in single player or multiplayer mode. Well, I guess we'll do single player. I don't think many people have access to this game at the moment, so I think it'd be kind of difficult to do multiplayer. Also, I don't have the PlayStation Network on this account. Might need that. So I'm very interested in the game at the moment. They say that wicked creatures prowl the road along this beautiful riverbank. But nobody's ever seen one. 
I once asked a man why. He simply replied, because anybody who happens upon one is promptly eaten. But it is long since anyone has met such a fate. For nowadays, people take another route, far away from the spooky old road. Only we walk the old way now. Travelers in crystal caravans. Okay, I have no idea what she just was just talking about, honestly. But I guess this is showing us the landscape of where we're about to be fighting. I'm gonna find some mirror. Ah, oh, pretty rainbow. Oh. River Bell Path. We can skip this. I think it's almost done now though. Prepare your command list. Bonus points pick up items. How does one prepare their, their command list? Okay. Do you have anything here? I don't think we have any spells. We were never given any spells. We didn't get to keep that fire and blizzard that the mog was talking about. So this temporarily increases my strength for fish. I guess we should equip some of food. Meat also increases my strength. Let's equip some meat. And I put the fish as well. Sure. Let's go. I'm ready. Alright, I want to drop this. Mog, you carry this. What does this signpost say? Right, roundabout route, left scenic route. Ooh, let's do scenic route. Let's go and find. Ooh. Ow! Okay, I'm already getting wrecked. Lost half my health there already. Got a phoenix down. If I'm familiar with Final Fantasy, phoenix down means... A revive. Oh, that attack one hit. Should hit that guy. What do we get? <laughs> Don't run away. A stone of fire. Oh, he threw something at me and it interrupted my cast. Oh, I'm actually getting battered here. Okay, at least we just killed that guy. Might need to heal. Guess that circle goes into this. Puzzle solved. Look at that. And we've got a stone of cure. Is there anything we can do to equip that maybe? Panis is HP. So you can you can swap these out. I guess we'll eat some fish shortly. Okay. Can't really do combos with this. It's not really letting me do much of a combo. So we've got some more meat. Let's eat some fish. Whoa, that put me back up to full health. So here we can change the chalice from... I think it's already on water. Some blue at the moment. There's a treasure chest down here. What have we got? Another stone of cure. Anything else around here that we should be looking at? Nothing down here. Like a scary monster there. Alright, let's use one of our fires here. Oh, one shot. Tapped. Bang. Got a striped apple. Alright, there's another closed door there. There seems to be a key on the other side. Alright, let's go through that gate that we just opened. Oh, we can hit this urn as well, can't we? Or we can carry it. Maybe we can throw out one of the baddies' heads. Some more urns. Throw! <laughs> it did nothing. Although, look, there's that pool under them. Is that water? I don't think we have any lightning, do we? So that's not going to work. Oh, that was an easy hit. He dropped another... 
key for a door. Stone of Rays. So that would probably revive... Maybe not yourself, but other players if you're playing with other players. And I think the black one's oil then, isn't it? We've got a fire spell, so maybe we can set someone on fire. Ah! Oh, it's a big one. Alright, switch to fire. I'll let you some fire, and then the ground's on fire as well. Let's make him run through the fire. Hehe. <laughs> uh oh, we pulled more mobs. We took a little bit of damage, but we're okay. What's this? Obtained the artifact double axe. Can we equip that now? Currently, we've got an aura racket. Don't think we can equip other equipment at the moment. No, does not look like it. Seems to be a bit of a beach down here. Maybe we can explore. Oh, there's another treasure chest. This way, though. Yeah, let's go back up and get that treasure chest. What's this? A design for an iron shield. Ooh, that could be pretty handy considering we're a blacksmith. And what else have we got here? Oh, so bad. You can't see me. Surprise attack. Bam. Nice. Is there another wind thing there? It doesn't look like we need it though. Oh! Wait, how can we... I've got an idea. Maybe if we carry this and drop it. If we stand on the other one. Is that going to work? Oh, I'm so clever! If I go off those, it's going to come back up. Nice. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> that must be from like the roundabout way, the other option earlier. Uh, yeah, at least we put down that drawbridge. So there's a wind thing changing. Oh. Whack, whack, whack. Oh, what's that? We got some gill, got some money. Oh, there's two baddies. There's a... Whatever that is. A raccoon thing. Got some more money. And even more money. What's this? Artifact silver. Didn't quite get to read that in time. Examine. <gasps> oh, we found a... A hidden entrance. Yeah, let's go inside. Look at that. I just randomly looked up that wall and I, it could move. Well, there's a little house here. Paint you? What are you talking about? I can trim and colour his hair. <laughs> Paint me a Vogue colour. I, If I'm red, I'll use flamey magic to match. Whoa, what? If my hair's fluffy too, I'll be really sluggish in hot places. But if it's chilly, I've got more short hair. I'll freeze up. Wait, what? His hair keeps growing as well, so eventually it'll go back to his reg regular look. I don't think we're going anywhere hot. I got it, okay. Alright, let's... Let's paint him. <laughs> what on earth is this? Alright. Uh, what kind of things do you want him to do? Let's be blow... Oh, Wiki Wiki is a blueberry, blueberry mug. Look at that. Very beautiful. Amazing. Very cute, Koopo. Let's give him some little green dots. Green dots. Like if he's in a berry bush. Beautiful. We give him a little wash. Can we cut his tail off? Not fair, oh. 
sorry. Chop your nose off. No, he's not amused. Cut off the sides in a little bit. It looks fantastic. You look amazing. Uh, let's save this. Oh, look. You don't need oh, I can spin him around as well. Whatever looks of good, course. Though. I didn't even color his bottom in. Look at this. Good, yeah, you look fantastic, dude. <laughs> Amazing. And we can give him a give him a B, a red B on the back. Make sure we we identify which mog is ours. Well, this is a beautiful B. Yeah, that's a B. For sure. We colored them in everywhere. There we go. Perfect. Aren't you a cute berry? Yes, you are. Okay. Finish up. Save. Okay. What was the? What is this place anyway? You're here for a mug stamp, right? Y yes. Where am I? You're in my house. <laughs> I hear they call this place the Moogle's Nest. What is a mug stamp? You don't have a stamp card? Let me tell you about mug stamps. We Moogles are found all over the world. We offer mug stamps as an incentive to locate and visit all of our homes. You need a stamp card to get mug stamps. The stamp card has 23 squares. They're divided into sets of one to three squares of matching colors. There are nine different kinds of mug stamps. Each Moogle will stamp one onto your card. I'm so confused. Match co mug stamp colors for a free memory crystal. Memory crystals that you mimic others. Mimicking others that you become someone else. What? This isn't just a costume change. You're totally transformed. You're now them. Yeah, I, I got it. I guess. Here's my stamp. Oh, one down at the bottom. Okay, so I guess we got to find more of these Moogle houses. Okay. Not sure how we even discovered that, really. Just looked at a rock. Almost by accident. Alright, I guess we go back. Let's skip, make Mog carry this. You got a, yeah, look, he's got a, he looks blue. He's got a blueberry and a red bottom. All right, where do we want to go? I think we unlocked that door, didn't we, when we killed that bigger boss thing looking thing? Somewhere up here. Oh, it's another. Ah, go away, squirrel, raccoon thing. Oh, look at the drop. Stone or thunder? Whack. Oh no, I'm dying. This isn't good. Dying is not good. Ah! We survived still. Okay, good. We better eat some fish or something. Oh, we got cure, haven't we? Let's use that. Oh, I have to cast that into myself. Let's pick up one of these oil urns and set some people on fire, maybe. Can we go across that bridge? Oh, we can. I'm going to have to drop this, though. It's a big chest. Stone of Rays again. to be found. Oh, not another squirrel. <laughs> Die. Oh, and this is the key to the other gate that we saw earlier that was locked from the other side. Beautiful. So we don't want to go back down that way. 
Oh no, that's a big one. Uh, run away! Die! Oh no, I hit the big one. Oh, that's fun. Like that's a bad thing. <laughs> oh, we hit them both, maybe? Zap! Ah, nice, look at that. A cob of corn, we get another artifact. A mage masher. Oof, one hit. So it doesn't seem to be like any mana cost or anything with the spell casts. Ooh, ooh. We need to hit that one more, one more time. Yeah, we got it. We got the big one. Nice. Okay, we should probably rest up a little bit here. Let's do another spell. It doesn't seem to be any mana cost for any of these. Let's try Blizzard for the next attack. There's a treasure down there. Right, Moogle House, where we've been there. Left, old road, dead end. No, no, that's not a dead end. What's this? Designed for bronze armor. Let's see. So that's another changer thing. Right, Moogle House, left, extreme danger. Well, actually, this might be a different Moogle House, actually. Yeah, this is different. Oh, a caravan, a Koopo. There's no mirror tree here. Oh. Thanks for telling me that as soon as we get to the end. <laughs> we can't offer you anything. We just moved here, so we really have nothing to offer. Maybe when we come back at a different year, maybe there'll be stuff here. Let me blow this barrel up. Nope. Okay. Let's see if there's anything down here. This music's giving me some real Final Fantasy VII vibes. Where are we? Are we still in the same place? Where's the rainbow that we saw earlier? Seems to be quite an emphasis on this waterfall. Is something gonna. Yep. Giant enemy crab. Oh, it's got swords and. There's two crabs. Wait, or is that his helmet? What on earth is going on there? Maybe Blizzard will work quite nicely against it. Oh, dodge that. Oh no, we, we got hit by slow, I think. This isn't good. <gasps> we got hit by a really big attack. I'm stunned. Heal, 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 heal. Okay, this boss has got full health. That blizzard did very, very little damage. Maybe it has a weak spot. Oh, run. I get zapped again. Okay. Maybe we can put it on, try putting it on fire. Or maybe we could try comboing, fusing one of our abilities together. Oh, slice me. Can't do get my spell in range. That's me, Mr. Crab. He's running away from me when I'm casting. And then he gets near me and then whacks me. Ow! No, 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 no. Heal, 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 heal. I think if we can take our time with this, this shouldn't be too bad, I guess. I still haven't had a chance to set this on fire. Why is this thing helping the crab? Oh. All right, we need to, can we fuse these at all? Is that gonna work? 
use gravity. All right, we've got gravity in now then. Let's see if we can make gravity work in this. Let's be careful about our health again. I don't have cure equipped actually. We should make sure that's on. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Might be only current max percent health damage though, so yeah, now it's not doing a whole lot. We need to change this ability into something else. What else do we have? We have, can we do like combined fire and fire together or something? Do we have two fires? We've only got one fire, but with two blizzards, can we do like a blizzard row? Wow, we can. Am I gonna thunder as well? No. All right, we've got blizzard row. I wonder if we had three of those. Ooh. The initial damage didn't hit, but then it seemed to do like a bigger area. Same damage. Is a slightly longer cast time though. I can't tell if this is um, actually healing up a little bit over time. And then you I'm gonna try auto hitting it. Wait. Not really doing that much damage. Ouch. Also hits on that bad. Ow. This thing's got a lot of health. Big attack. Boom. I'm sure if this thing's meant to have a weak spot, but maybe the if we get behind it, maybe maybe that would be a weak spot. Like now, like this, maybe is this a weak spot? Spun around straight away. Let's try attacking it from its behind. So it has got that massive like helmet-looking thing. Oh, the, the thing fell off. We whacked the the big thing that was kind of defending him. Oh no, but we were hit by the slow. Oh, we got hit by another slow. And this is so slow. And then we got stunned by that lightning attack. And there's another one. Oh no, this is not good. Move. Move, please move. Let's heal up. Okay, it slows off. Oh, I got insta hit by that slow straight away. We've nearly got it. By that slow again. One more hit. Nice. Not sure why you would necessarily want to prioritize auto hitting over doing the spells there in hindsight. That Moogle lied to me. There is a tree here. And that house is there. There's no tree. There's one right here. Alright, let's fill this baby up. Give me all the mirror. Give it all. Wow. 
Whoa, okay. I think they filled it up a decent amount. That one little drop. I thought we were about to get scammed. Does that, that mean it's fully full or it's like half full? The chalice thing? At your service, Capo. <laughs> <laughs> we got mail. Go, Thank you, Capo. Letter from Roland. Let's have a look. How is everything? You may be facing hardship if that drag of spirit is down, but always remember that the caravan gives hope to us all. Uh, should we reply to that? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, <laughs> I'm fine. Give me my money. Send to, oh, I have to send something to them. Okay, we can send them something. What have we got here? You want... What can we give them? Seed? Fine gift for your family? Yeah, sure, let's do that. Have a vegetable seed. There you go. Reply, Capo. I thought we could demand money in the letter back. So long, Capo. So many items did we pick up? Quite a few, apparently. Over 100 points. 153. I don't know if that's good or not. Choose an artifact. Iron, material for crafting equipment. Strength plus one, defense plus one, magic plus one. Gain another command slot. Strength plus two, magic plus one, defense plus one. Well, that seems pretty strong. Strength plus two, everything else is either plus one or a command slot, or there's this iron thing that we've, we picked up a few material stuff for. I think we should take the plus two strength. Maybe we can try and get a better weapon later on where it's not like you can't really combo with that base weapon. It's just like one single hit after another, like no actual combo. So we completed River Bell Path. Not bad. What's next? Do we have to go back? Oh, another event. I wonder if we have to take this chalice back to the town now. Nope. They say he's on a journey to master the art of combat. Few these days ever set out to better themselves. You would do well to master something before your journey ends. Should we have a look at the diary? Lots of entries seem to be going into a diary. Maybe it's just maybe it's a way for us to track what we've done. Saw so the caravan. Today the town was already abuzz with the talk of the Black Knight, but Sol had more tales to tell. Sol spoke with such enthusiasm. That he actually seemed to admire him. Yeah, it's just recapping of what we've already seen. Oh, it's got uh, the dungeon that we've just been in there. And about the Moogle nests. Okay. And... I guess, should we head back to the town? Is this fully full or not? Maybe we can buy some a new weapon or something because we did get some gill as well. Not sure if the artifact we have as well is equipped as well already or not. 
Don't know how to access like the right hand portion, like the, these things here. I don't seem to be able to get over to them. Oh, actually if I... There we go, managed to get there. So there's the artifact. It must be like a permanent buff. There's a lot of different things on that list. Okay. Favorites of fish and meat and striped apples, apparently. Okay, we definitely need a new weapon. Let's see if there's any shops. Storage. So we've got a bank here. Okay. Not sure why we would need a bank. Doesn't seem to be a limit maybe on the items that you can hold. What's this? Nobody's home. Nobody's home here either. Let me guess, nobody's home. What's up here? Let me guess, nobody's home. But you're right there, you are home. <laughs> oh, if we talk to these people. Oh, that's Roland, we sent him a vegetable seed. He's not even saying thank you. How rude. You're back. Wait, they seem to want us to carry on going on the road? I don't think they want us back here. Is there a map? Doesn't appear to be a map. What's up here? It's like I only just left. Or haven't even left at all. They haven't even noticed I've left. But Roland sent me a letter. Can we go in here? Is this my house? Do I have a house? Am I disowned? <laughs> oh yeah, they don't seem to care. I gathered some of that myrrh that they wanted. They've been going on about for ages. They don't seem interested at all. Okay. I guess we, 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 we leave. My feelings are hurt. There are no shops here, it seems. Yeah, nobody's home. Yeah, everyone's just like left. I think everyone's just ignoring me. They're just staying inside their houses and refusing to talk to me. So there's a farm there. I don't even know how to get out of this place now. Wait, let's back up that hill. Oh god, we could be here for a while. Right, we need to walk past these people, don't we? Can we talk to the crystal? We'll give our myrrh to the crystal? Now then. Come back home and show us your smile once in a while. <laughs> okay. I'll make sure. But only if you make sure that you're actually all in. Right. Which way do we go? This way? Yeah, okay, this way. I feel a bit abandoned by my family, but okay. Seems to only be four people and a load of Moogles that live there. I guess we'll go up on the road. What's down here? Port Tipa. Let's have a look. Maybe some will be there and actually indoors. And once again, I should thank Square Enix for supplying a code for me to even play this game early. Very much appreciated for that. Ooh, there's a cave. Hop in. I'm sure I'll be safe. What if it's another Moogle hut thing? Get another stamp, please. Yes! Oh, the paint's fading on my mug. Hello, 
Where's my stamp? Up the top this time. Okie dokie, thank you very much. Beautiful. Wait, it's Diltskin again. This is where we were last time. Is this like the tutorial reminder area? At least we've got that stamp, I guess. There doesn't seem to be anything else here. Okay. And back out we go, I guess. I guess I have no reason to go back there ever again. We've got the Mog Stamp and then that's it. Alright, let's keep going up the road. Oh, but we didn't... Do we need water? Do we have water for that? I think we do have water on our chalice, I think, still, right? I don't recall changing it. Yeah. Ooh, spooky. Oh. We made it through. So I'm gonna have to pay attention. Like, I'm gonna need to change my shadows to a different element depending on so say, for example, that dungeon that we finished earlier, I'd have to make sure I got the right element at the end to then be able to go further into the world map, I guess. Gosh. Where are we now? Let's have a look at these mushrooms. The mushroom forest. And there's another tree there. I guess we should go and say hi. But we'll probably save this for the next episode of the playthrough. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Thank you again for Square Enix for supplying us a key for this Crystal Chronicles Final Fantasy Remastered Edition. And if you guys are enjoying this, then I'll probably be doing at least a few more episodes on this throughout the series. And um, yeah, leave a comment if you're liking the new extra content. Um, and as always, stay safe and keep very awesome.